Hi, welcome to Torah Moments for today, episode two. This one's a fun one for me because as a former music teacher, I like to bring music into what we discuss. One thing that you should know about me is I try to have a perspective about all the events that occur in the world and occur to me as being somehow related to Torah and Torah being embedded in all those events too. It's a matter of perspective. As a former music teacher, I used to teach a unit on anthems. If we were to think of Hatikva, the anthem of national anthem of Israel, we know that it's a song of hope. It's got the core value of hope for the Jewish state. When we think of the Star Spangled Banner, we hear a song in the context of war that really is talking about our flag surviving a battle, and by comparison, our nation's values surviving any bombardment to as I said, it's basic values. So for our work together, I found a song that I think is a perfect anthem for us. This is the first verse. That might have surprised you for me to pick a rock song by Pink Floyd as an anthem for our work. But when you think about it, it's got this concept of we, that there's a group involved, there's a commonality between people, and it has that double negative, which turns into a positive or is emphasizing. And I believe it's a double negative turning into a positive. We don't need, we don't, we don't need something. And what don't we need? No education, which means we need the opposite. We need education. We are people of the book. Even in Shema Yisrael, we have the commandment to teach our children. That is incredibly important to our survival. And there are a variety of things that we can possibly teach. We don't need no education, which means we need, not want, but need, need for survival, education. We don't want no thought control, which means we do want thought control. Now, that might be scary because you might be thinking we need our thoughts to be controlled by something outside of us, but I'm going to turn that and say, no, that's not exactly what it's saying. Maybe it's saying, although it could be saying that, maybe it's saying that we need to control our thoughts. When our minds go to places that are dark or not to our benefit, or not to the benefit of others, then maybe we need to control those thoughts and bring them into a place that's more positive. That can be a light, in a sense, to the world. The last two lines, no dark sarcasm in the classroom, that's a single negative, and so a method of teaching with sarcasm is not the best of methods. Teachers leave them, teacher, leave them kids alone, or us kids alone. Teachers that are sarcastic and negative in nature, maybe they should find something more in line with their positive sides rather than that negative side. So another brick in the wall can certainly be an anthem when looked at it in the way that I've just shared with you. That's it for today. Next episode. We go to work. Bye.